you do that last trip up, you know everything's gonna be shut down for a bit and you're gonna kind of get pushed back to whatever's open in your hometown. So yeah, there is that sense of urgency to kind of catch that last little bit of riding before winter hits. It's more of getting away from everything and going to do what I love most away from racing, not worrying about, yeah, like results or whatever. I'm just going to ride trails that I want to ride. I started on this Kmart special that I would break the rear axle all the time. And then around eight, got like my first BMX bike, which was a red line. And that kind of changed everything, actually having like a real bike. And there's some kids in my neighborhood that actually rode uh, mountain bikes. We kind of dirt jumped at the same spot. And they convinced me to get on a mountain bike and try racing four cross. And went and bought this Haro 8.1 from Shawnee McGovern up at the fix when I was on the hill. And, you know, a month later I was at Snowmass. I was 12 years old, raced the 18 and under class. So I was like a foot shorter than everyone. Kind of rough BMX track going down a mountain. And I was just in love with it. By the second race, it was funny. Shawnee sponsored me and kind of the rest was history. Kind of owe that dude a lot. After high school, becoming an electrician and working in oil fields and kind of quit racing for about two years and got like pretty unhappy. And my girlfriend and I made the decision to go with Shawnee up to Whistler and spend a summer there and just like get back to just riding and having fun. And that's where it kind of all changed. When I first went up to Whistler, it was like almost overwhelming. Um, just trying to learn the new trails and trying to ride well. But once you can ride every day, you just progress on a level. You don't even notice you're progressing just because you're riding with such good riders and pushing yourself. This is when you're comfortable and having fun. And that's the biggest thing is having fun. I think that's when you learn the most. And those two, three years when we went up there, I think that's where I progressed most in my career. I ended up doing really well at Crankworks that year and just loving life again. You know, we took the chance and went up there and lived the dream in a sense. I have you begging for mercy. 
mercy, begging for mercy. Oh. <laughs> You go up there, you can just get back to what, you know, I think truly matters. It's just totally enjoying bikes and kind of like reset, get stoked for next year. You know, I don't have too much time to just ride like that. So I think, you know, picking a place like that and riding some of the best trails in the world is not anything like it.